Hi everyone, and welcome back to Fully Playable Games. So on today's video, we are going to be going through all of the pickups from Friday's Boot Fair video. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll stick a link up in one of the corners. Um, go and check that out before we go through the pickups. But yeah, there are some absolutely amazing titles in here. Um, and yeah, what I'm going to do is I am just going to jump straight over to the footage that I've already filmed. Uh, because yeah as i was editing the video it was just going to end up being too long i think the video we were looking at about an hour and a half uh sort of total time for the video so yeah we uh, i've split it up uh, and then yeah it should be a bit easier to watch so yeah let's jump over to my other footage and then let's go through all the pickups so that is going to wrap up our trip to Lazy Bones. And yeah, looking at the desk, we have had such an amazing trip. Um, even though there wasn't a massive amount of um, diff like, different pickups from different places, um, obviously that one pickup that we got right at the beginning uh, just absolutely blew the day out of the water. So let's dive straight in because we've got a absolute truckload to go through today so starting off with um basically some of the the sort of general pickups first one that we've got is a copy of fifa 21 on the xbox one and the reason i got this was we didn't currently have it in the collection so yeah decided to pick that up um, and i think i'm pretty much there with the fifa collection i need to double check um, but yeah, I, I think if it's not, we haven't got them all now. Uh, we're pretty, we're only missing like one or two. So yeah, happy to have that one. Uh, that one goes for no, sorry, completely wrong on that one. That one's actually a double. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I originally picked it up thinking that we didn't have it. Um, I think at the time when I was trying to scan it, um, it. Um, I just couldn't get signal um, on my phone for some reason. So, yeah, couldn't tell. So, I thought I'd just grab it just in case. I uh, only paid a pound for it. Uh, it goes to £2 at CEX, 3 50 on eBay, and trades in for an ATP voucher. So, yeah, we're not going to get exactly what we want on trading, but even still, we're not going to, it's not going to be a total loss. Then, next up. Uh, I think all these come from the same seller. Uh, yes, they did. They all come from the same seller. And first, uh, they're all PS2 games. So the first one that we've got is another one of the official uh, PS2 magazine uh, demo discs. Uh, this is demo disc number 65 from November 2005. And yeah, as I've said in previous videos, I am actually trying to collect the whole uh, PS2 uh, mag official magazine demo discs um, no particular reason uh, I just decided one day that I want to grab I want to try and grab them all uh, so this is one that we don't currently have uh, paid a pound for that one um, couldn't find it listed on eBay so haven't got any uh, prices for it but yeah definitely uh, definitely be worth more than 50p uh, then next up we have got and I'll be honest, I have got no clue why I picked this up. I mean, it was purely because we didn't have it in the collection and I have never seen it before. I played it to capture the footage for this video. Um, I will be honest, I probably will never go back and play it again. And that is uh, Strawberry Shortcakes, the Sweet Dreams game. And I will admit, um, graphically, it was really impressive for a PS2 game. Um, and it is best way to describe it is going to be a sort of side scrolling platformer um but the it's like a continuous road that you're sort of going down but the road does sort of bend and twist so it isn't just a sort of straight line um so yeah interesting from that perspective but as i say it's not really a subject matter that i am massively uh engaged with so we say uh paid 150 for that that goes for two pounds at cex and 750 on ebay and then the final game that we got from this seller was corvette so this is a racing game that was released for the 50th anniversary of the corvette brand and i have to admit it actually played really well graphically it was probably middle of the road but actual the, the handling of the cars and everything like that felt really realistic. Uh, so yeah, 
actually not a bad racing game. Uh, we ended up paying a pound for that one. Goes for five pounds at CEX and six pounds on eBay. So yeah, happy to have that one in the collection. Then next up, we are going to be going for a couple of bits that we picked up from uh, one of the resellers that I've be that I've picked up loads and loads from. And I will admit there are loads and loads that I've picked up from him in future videos as well. So the first one that we've got is an Xbox One game, and that is Two Point Hospital. So this was a game that was released by the um, the same, I think it was the same dev team, um, or at least some of the developers uh, behind the original Theme Hospital. Um, you can very much, as you're playing it, you can very much feel uh, that sort of Theme Hospital uh, type of mentality behind it. Uh, the sort of the, the comedy that they use in it and just the general layout even the first level you're playing this and it feels um, I'm pr pretty sure actually the first level has got the same layout as the the first level in theme hospital so yeah really really good game I think I've got it on my steam library um, so these sort of games I actually prefer playing them on um, the on the PC uh, just because I get to use a mouse and keyboard um, I think with playing these sort of games on the consoles obviously it just requires a lot more steps um, with regards to like accessing the different menus and things like that um, but yeah even still it's still a really good game really glad to have it in the collection um, and yeah it will it probably get played every now and then as well uh, but as I say my preference will be for the PC version uh, that one we paid two pounds for that goes for eight pounds at CEX and 15 pounds on eBay uh, right next up it was a GameCube game and I picked this up <clears throat> uh, thinking that I didn't have it in the collection but once I got home uh, and actually looked it up on my app which once again I couldn't access at the boot fair uh, found out that we did already have it so I was really gutted I thought it was going to be another game that was going to tick off uh, for the GameCube collection and that is Ace Golf uh, so yeah this is a game that we picked up before um, it, I will admit I like the Ace Golf series uh, very sort of cartoony and yeah light hearted um, golf game so yeah that one we paid £5 for that goes for four pounds at cex six pounds on ebay so yeah don't know what i'm going to do with that yet I'll probably just keep hold of it for now uh then right so next up we actually got a genesis game and that is where in time is carmen san diego so i remember watching the uh the cartoon series of carmen san diego uh when i was younger um, and yeah, I just thought, you know, I saw this, I was like, it's a Mega Drive game that I've not seen before. Um, but obviously, yeah, after picking it up, I uh, saw that it was a Genesis game. I, mean, I noticed it before I actually paid, but um, it has got one of the weirdest box arts I've ever seen. So it's literally got nothing on it <laughs> apart from that little window. There is just a grey box. Um, so yeah. Um, as I say, another addition to the Mega Drive collection. Uh, paid £10 for that. Uh, looking it up online, uh, it goes for about £20 on eBay. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, so I'm going to try and track down the manual for it. Um, but yeah, a lot of the ones that I was seeing online, uh, all um, it was just complete in box games, not uh, manual on its own. And then the last game that we got from this seller uh, was actually a Switch game. And this is, uh, is it Matto Anomalies? Uh, and this is uh, basically a uh, sort of like ghost um, ghost type of uh, paranormal. That's the word I'm thinking of. Uh, paranormal. Um, what is the word? What am I thinking of? Visual novel. That was it. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Um, yeah, a paranormal visual novel with some RPG uh, fight elements in it. Uh, so it's a really, really strange mix. Um, but I have to admit, um, when I was sitting there capturing the footage for this, it really got me engaged. Um, and yeah, I'm not too sure how long I ended up playing it for, just capturing the footage for it. But it is definitely one that's going to come into my Switch rotation. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't had a lot of time to play my Switch recently. 
Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few sort of Switch games on the backlog at the moment. But yeah, this is definitely one that I'm interested in spending a bit more time on. Uh, so that one, we paid £13 for that. Goes for £15 on eBay and £11 on... Uh, sorry, £15 at CEX, £11 on eBay. Uh, this is actually the day one edition as well. So it actually comes with a art book as well. Uh, so yeah, really, really happy to have that. Um, and yeah, it's something different actually. Instead of just being the uh, the sort of standard switch case, uh, yeah, it's something a bit different for the shelf. Right, so getting back to the um, sort of the, the, the regular boot fair, as we say. Uh, next up, we've got a PS4 game. And we've got Plants vs. Zombies Battle for uh, Neighbourville. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't really put any time into any of the uh, Plants vs. Zombies games. I mean, I played... I remember playing the first one for a bit. Um, that is the, the actual Plants vs. Zombies sort of mobile game. Uh, but, yeah, the, the console ones I haven't really put a lot of time into because, obviously, they are all online only. And it really frustrates me because these sort of games don't need to be online only. You don't need an online connection for them uh, to just be able to play them. It's just another excuse for companies like EA to, whenever they feel like it, just shut them down. Um, and, yeah, uh, so, yeah, a bit disappointed with that one. Um, obviously, I haven't captured any footage for it because, at the moment, I am not... Um, connecting my PS5 uh, to the internet uh, just so that I can play the original version of Stellar Blade. Uh, but yeah, for that one, uh, we paid £2 for that. Goes for £6 at CEX, £7 on eBay. Then we got Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, this was uh, this was actually a double. I think I bought this knowing it was a double. Um, but the main reason for buying this was obviously for trade fodder. Uh, so, yeah, I would admit I have played this in the past. Uh, visually, it looks absolutely stunning, uh, but I've not got that far into it. Um, probably only about 10, 15 minutes into the main story. Uh, but, yeah, uh, an interesting one nonetheless. Uh, that one, we paid £2 for that again. Goes for £6 at CEX, £8 on eBay, and trades in for a £4 voucher. Uh, actually, I'm going to put that up there because that's going to be trading. <laughs> Then, next up, last PS4 game that we got from this seller was The Witcher, uh, The Wild Hunt. Uh, so, we have got a copy of The Witcher on the PS4, um, but it is not the same version. So, I think we might have the extended version, or the director's cut sort of version, um, but didn't have just a standard version. Obviously, with this one as well, it's got the, the sleeve cover. Uh, sleeve cover's not in, in a, amazing condition, um, but still, it's better to have it than not. Uh, so that one we paid uh, £2 again. Goes for £5 at CEX, £7 on eBay. And then the last... Uh, no, no, we haven't. Next up, uh, we've got something a bit different. Uh, I actually managed to find a Super Mario Odyssey uh, metal lunchbox. So, yeah, I saw this. It looked cool. Uh, so that was the big reason for grabbing it. And, yeah, there's nothing inside it. It is completely empty. Uh, but paid one fifty for that. Looking it up online, they go for about £12 on eBay. And then the final game, before we get into the uh, the big bundle for the, for the video, um, we've got The Hunter. And I'll be honest, this was a really bizarre game. Um, it's you look at the picture and it looks very much sort of like a Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons type game it is nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons um, yeah it is a really weird one it is about um, basically you're trying to get hold of different treasures and you're trying to beat sort of other people to it uh, really bizarre sort of RPG type movement system to it as well um, basically what you do is, is you roll a dice that basically decides how many moves you get uh, and then it's done in sort of like the RPG the old sort of style old style RPG uh, sort of squares uh, yeah really weird one um, but yeah it's an interesting one having the collection it doesn't have the manual unfortunately it was a bit of a shame uh, but we paid £3 for that looking it up online it goes for £9 on eBay and I couldn't find it listed at CEX 
So now we get on to the monumental pickup for today. Uh, and I have to say, this is probably one of the biggest gaming pickups that I've ever done at the boot fair. So yeah, looking forward to getting into it. But to start with, we are going to be having a look at the doubles. Um, and then what we'll do is then we'll get into the, the creme de la creme, uh, the ones that we're going to be adding into the collection. And the big reason for sorting out the Xbox shelf uh, the other week. So the first game that we've got is uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, obviously, we've got multiple copies of this now in the collection. It go, uh, goes for one fifty at CEX, four pounds on eBay, and trades in for a ten p voucher. Then, what would an Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty collection be without Connect Adventures? Um, this one goes for fifty p at CEX, three fifty on eBay, um, and CEX won't take or won't pay you anything to trade it in. Then we've got uh, two copies of Fable 2. Uh, these go for £2 at CEX, £4 on eBay, and trade in for an 80p voucher. And then to follow on from that, we've also got two copies of Fable 3. Uh, once again, they go for £2 at CEX, £7 on eBay. Um, and also trading for an 80p voucher. So I'm going to have a look at them. I might look to sell them on eBay. I think I might get a couple of pound extra. Then we've got Kings of Alamar, uh, The Reckoning. Um, yeah, this was one. It's not actually, I don't think we've had this in the collection that long. Uh, it's quite a recent pickup. Uh, that one goes for £1 at CEX, £6 on eBay, and trades in for a 1p voucher. Then we've got Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Uh, this one, do, 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 150 at CEX, 550 on eBay, and a 10p voucher. Uh, I will say that is complete as well. It's got all the maps and manuals and everything in there. Then we've got Lord of the Rings War of the North. Uh, this one, where are we? Eight pounds at CEX, six pounds on eBay, and goes for a five pound voucher. So that's definitely getting traded in. And uh, let me just space these out a bit so that I can tell where we are. Okay, so next up we have got Destiny. Uh, this one, 50p of CEX, £3 on eBay, and a 1p voucher. Then we've got two copies of Split Second Velocity. Um, and yeah, this was a game that I, I, think I originally got it on the Xbox 360 when I first found it. Um, and then I recently got a copy of it on the PS3 off Nicky. Uh, so yeah, um, a shame that we've already got it in the collection because it would be nice to add one of these in. But uh, yeah, at least we've got these for trading now. Because they go for £5 at CEX, uh, £6 on eBay and trade in for a £3 voucher. So that's £6 in vouchers just there. Then we've got Xbox Live Arcade, the um, compilation disc. Um, yeah, these don't go for a lot, I already know that. Not listed at CEX and £4 on eBay. Then we've got um, Bakugan, uh, Defenders of the Core. This was another recent edition. I remember capturing the footage for this um, a little while ago. Uh, this one goes for £15 at CEX, £20 on eBay, and trades in for a £10 voucher. So yeah, really happy with that one. And then we've got Rayman Origins. Uh, that trades in for, sorry, sells at eBay for £5. Uh, sorry, sells on CEX for £5, eBay for eight fifty, and trades in for a £3 voucher. There we go, we'll get there eventually. Uh, right, this next game, I was actually really surprised. It's one that we've had in the collection for quite a while, um, but I've never had a chance to play it. And that is Blue Dragon. Uh, so this one actually goes for £15 at both CEX and eBay. Um, and CEX will pay a £10 voucher for this. So yeah, really happy with that one. Then we've got Tomb Raider Underworld. Uh, that one goes for £3 at CEX. £5 on eBay and trades in for a £1.20 voucher. Then we've got Soul Calibur 4. Um, absolutely brilliant game. This is the one where they had all the Star Wars characters in it. Uh, so I think it was Vader and uh, Yoda. 
Uh, this one goes for three pounds at CEX, eight pounds on eBay, and trades in for a 120 voucher. Then we've got Dragon Siege Three. Uh, this one goes for a pound at CEX, four pounds on eBay, and trades in for a 1P voucher. And then the final double is going to be a copy of Mortal Kombat. Uh, this goes for £10 at CEX, £9 on eBay, and trades in for a £6 voucher. Um, right, and then we've got two games uh, where there was... So the first one that we've got is Sims 3. Uh, didn't have the disc in the box, unfortunately. So, yeah, just uh, an empty case there. And then the other one was Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal, which is not one that we've got in the collection. So it was really disappointing. Uh, when I turned the disc over to basically see that it is it is gone completely up the top there. So yeah, a real shame there. As I say, it was complete as well. So what I might do is I might jump on eBay, see if I can get hold of the disc. Uh, because looking it up online, it goes for £18 at CEX and £20 on eBay. So it's probably going to be looking at £10 just for the disc. Uh, but yeah, I might look to get hold of the disc for that. And then talking about discs, uh, we did get a couple of disc onlys in here as well. Uh, so we've got a copy of Minecraft. Uh, unfortunately, the centre is starting to crack on the disc. Uh, so yeah, it can't really do anything with that, unfortunately. Then we've got a bundle copy of Pure. Uh, I think this was a, uh, is it an ATV uh, racing game. Uh, that one goes for £15 on eBay, so I might look to uh, get that tested and get that listed on eBay. And then the last one that we've got is Burnout Paradise, uh, the ultimate box uh, for PS3. Uh, that one goes, couldn't find that listed actually disc only on eBay. Uh, so yeah, just those three uh, were sort of disc only. Right, so now we get into uh, the uh, the bulk of the games and yeah there are 30 games that we're going to be adding uh, to the Xbox 360 collection today so I am going to be doing a big sh uh, big sort of shift around um, on the Xbox 360 shelf uh, some of these titles we're going to be adding in and some we aren't so the first one that we've got is Diablo 3 um, I will admit before playing this um, I'd never played any of the Diablo games but this, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, this is probably one actually I am going to put into the shelf um, and put a bit more time into it. Um, I know the Diablo series has been about for ages and it's got massive amount of fans, um, but the sort of Dungeons and Dragons type uh, era, um, sort of medieval type era, has never really done it for me. Um, I don't sort of gravitate to those sort of games. Um, but yeah, as I say, it was a really interesting one to play. Uh, that one goes for 250 at CEX, £7 on eBay. Um, and let me just scroll up so I can get everything in shot. Okay, so next up we have got Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. And yeah, once again, um, I love my one on one fighters. This one I actually really enjoyed. Normally, sort of the Mortal Kombat games sort of sit about sort of third or fourth for me um, in sort of overall game, overall sort of fighting games. Um, but I have to admit, out of all the Mortal Kombat that I've played, I actually really enjoyed this. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely one that's going to go on the shelf, um, and I'll be giving a bit more time to. Uh, this one goes for ten pounds at CEX and eleven pounds on eBay. Okay, so next up we have got Burnout Paradise. So we've got the, obviously we've got this on the uh, the PS3 sort of disc only. Uh, this is the standard version. Um, it isn't the, the Ultimate Box Collection, which, yeah, I'm not too sure on what that is. Um, this one goes for £3 at CEX and £4 on eBay. Um, as I say, it's not one that we've already got in the, um, the Xbox 360 collection, so that's good. Then we've also got another copy of Burnout Paradise, but unfortunately, uh, this is it's the wrong cover uh, for the wrong disc. So this is the uh, the Burnout Paradise, um, the Ultimate Box disc for just the standard uh, Burnout Par uh, Burnout 
Paradise. I was about to say Burnout Parrot. <laughs> Burnout Paradise uh, box. So, yeah, not a lot I'm going to do with that. Um, as I say, I'll put that off to one side. Uh, right, so next up, we have got Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion XL. Uh, and this is basically a uh, sort of 3D type of yes yeah, so a 3d world but it's a sort of side scrolling platformer um you basically get to cho the choice to play of a variety of cartoon network uh characters um and yeah i think the the different characters you select um uh, might it's uh, sort of vaguely affects uh the story so you'll be fighting a different villain things like that um i when i was playing it i ended up playing as ben 10 I think what I done was I just sort of randomised the character selection. It gave me Ben 10, and then I was fighting one of the villains from Ben 10. So yeah, interesting game. Uh, really uh, looked really nice, um, and yeah, it, it just is what it is. <laughs> um, so that one goes for 10 pounds at CEX, 22 pounds on eBay, and then a game that I'm pretty sure I've played before, um, but. I'll be honest, I can't actually remember playing it at all. Um, when I was playing it, it didn't look familiar in any way. And that was Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. Uh, so we've obviously, at the end of this month, uh, got uh, the Epic Mickey uh, rebrushed uh, remake coming out. Uh, so I think I've got that pre-ordered. I can't remember on what platform. Uh, so yeah, I should be getting that towards the end of the month. Um, but yeah, as I say, um, I've... I definitely played the first one. Uh, once again, I can't remember on what platform I played it. Uh, I think, actually, the first one was a Wii exclusive, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I want to say the first one was a Wii exclusive. So it must have been the Wii that I played it on. Um, and, yeah, the second one then did come out on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Uh, but, yeah, really, really good games. Really enjoy these. Um, it's ones that I definitely want to go back. I think what I'll do is I'm going to go through, um, play, uh, rebrush through. And then I'll jump on to um, Epic Mickey 2. Uh, so this one goes for £15 of CEX and £7 on eBay. Then next up we've got Fable Anniversary. Um, and this one actually comes with the uh, slipcover, which is really nice. Um, once again, the, the Fable games um, I've not really put a lot of time into. Uh, this one, once again, um, I enjoyed playing it. But, um, yeah, it's sort of that sort of isometric um, sort of open world uh, games. I've just never been a massive fan of. Uh, I mean, the only one of them that I've ever put any real time into uh, was Fallout, uh, the original PC version. Uh, so for this one, it goes for £15 at CEX, £8 on e oh, sorry, £28 on eBay. Then, next one, I will be honest, I've not played this, um, and that is uh, Brunswick Pro Bowling. Uh, main reason, because it's a Connect-only game, um, and I just haven't got the space in here at the moment to set up the Connect. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be honest, I can't tell you anything about this one. Uh, but looking it up online, it goes for £8 at CEX, £14 on eBay. Then, next up, we've got Cars Mater National Championship. Uh, so we have actually recently played this. Um, and I think this was one of the last um, DS games uh, that I actually captured gameplay footage for for the channel. Um, this one is completely different. Um, it's, com uh, it's got um, a lot more anim animated cutscenes, um, completely different uh, setup to the game. Um, once again, uh, as normally happens with the between the handheld and the consoles, um, it's essentially two completely different games just with the same title. Uh, this one really enjoyed it. Um, actually, sort of con control wise, controlled really well. Um, the art style looked really good. Um, basically, what you would expect uh, from a Disney console game. Um, and yeah, really, really happy to have that one. Uh, that goes for £15, £15 uh, CEX, £28 on eBay. Then next up, we've got You Draw Studio um, Instant Artist. Uh, so this was one that uh, we've got it complete on the Nintendo Wii. 
I uh, don't know where my Wii version is anymore. Uh, but um, yeah, it comes with basically a tablet um, for the Xbox and the PS3 versions. I'm not too sure how they work um, as to whether there's a dongle or they just connect using the same uh, systems as controllers. Um, but uh, yeah, in order to play it, you need the tablet. So at the moment, there's not really a lot I can do with this uh, because yeah, we don't have the tablet, just the game. Uh, this one goes for a pound at CEX and five pounds on eBay. Then we've got an expansion pack, and this is the Elder Scrolls IV Shivering Isles. Um, so yeah, this is a expansion pack for Oblivion, uh, which we did have in the doubles pile. Uh, but yeah, this we didn't have the expansion, so I'm going to keep hold of this and add it into the collection. Uh, this one goes for three fifty at CEX, five pounds on eBay. Then we've got uh, Ryzen. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, actually, we've got the sequel to this. Um, whether it's on the uh, Xbox 360 or the PS3, I'm not too sure. Uh, so I'll put a little message down the bottom of the screen for this. Um, but I would admit, playing this through, um, it was a really, really good game. Uh, definitely one that's going to be a bit more of a staple in my 360. Um, as and when I get time. <laughs> I mean, at the moment, most of my time on the 360 is done capturing gameplay. Um, and then a lot of my time is spent on the sort of the PS5. It's probably my main console at the moment. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed playing this. Definitely one that I'm going to go back to. Uh, this one goes for £3 at CEX, £7 on eBay. Then another game that I actually surprisingly really enjoyed. Um, and this is a, uh, a licensed game. And that's The Amazing Spider-Man. So this game is based after the first Amazing Spider-Man film. Um, so yeah, it's very sort of heavy on um, sort of Killer Croc. Um, that obviously, that's all just happened. Um, and then it's like the aftermath of it. Uh, so yeah, really, really enjoyed playing this. I think I definitely spent well over the sort of 10, 15 minutes I normally spend. Um, and yeah, one that I am definitely going to be playing again. Uh, from what I've been hearing as well, a lot of the uh, Spider-Man games from this sort of generation um, were all really, really good. So yeah, really glad to have this one in the collection. Uh, this one goes for £12 at CEX, £14 on eBay. Um, it is going to need a case swap, so I'm going to probably do that before um, I even take the photos for the video. Then next up, we've got the Smurfs 2. Uh, so this is based off of the uh, the film. Uh, the, 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 there was a couple of them weren't there that was released. Um, I'll be honest, I never watched them, uh, but I know the little one was quite into them at the time. Uh, this, obviously, playing through the first level of it, it is uh, essentially a uh, side-scrolling platformer. Um, Graphics-wise, looks really good. Um, gameplay is pretty much what you'd expect uh, from a... Uh, 2D uh, platformer um, yeah it was middle of the road shall we say uh, but yeah good condition so nice to have that in the collection uh, that one goes for £5 at CEX and £6.50 on eBay then in with all of this as well there was also an original Xbox game and that is SSX Free uh, this is a classics version uh, we do currently have uh, it's, where is it? Just there. The the normal version of SSX free. So this is going to go into uh, storage. Uh, but yeah, nice to have it in the collection anyway. Uh, that one goes for six pounds at CEX and fifteen pounds on eBay. Right. Next up, we've got another Connect game, and this is Sport I Sports Island Freedom. Uh, so looking at it, it's got a fair few. Uh, games in there. Looks like you've got archery, paintball, boxing, volleyball, ice skating, the the sort of Japanese sort of sword fighting with the wooden swords. I don't know what it's called. Uh, dodgeball, snowboarding, tennis, and skiing. Uh, so yeah, play all ten complete sports online. Uh, so is this an online only? Oh no, online multiplayer. Uh, one to two players locally. So yeah, as I say, 
another Kinect game for the, uh, for the collection. As I say, there's no footage for this just because I haven't got any room to set the Kinect up. Um, but uh, price wise, it goes to 250 at CEX, eight pounds on eBay. Then next up, a uh, another fighting game, uh, but this one is one that is actually quite high up in my uh, fighting list. And that is Soul Calibur V. So I absolutely love the Soul Calibur games. Uh, this one was no different. Uh, really enjoyed it, and definitely one of the one that I'm going to spend a bit more time on. Uh, I think we've got pretty much all of them across different different consoles. Uh, I don't think I've got a complete run on any one particular console. Uh, but yeah, definitely a nice one to have. Uh, so Soul Calibur goes for... Uh, actually, I couldn't find uh, prices for this because this is the copy that we've got here um, is actually part of the um, the collector's edition. Uh, so this comes with the uh, the game and the soundtrack. Uh, so yeah, this isn't the the sort of standard release version, as you can see there. There's no barcode on the back. So yeah, I have actually got prices for this purely because, as I say, it's not the standard version. Right, next up, we have got a game that quite a few of the others were getting quite excited about when they saw it, and that is Battle vs. Chess. Uh, so this is essentially a 3D battle chess game. Um, I'll be honest, I know the rules for chess. Um, I am by no means any good. Um, so yeah, playing the, uh, playing the game to capture the footage, got completely trounced. Uh, I mean, it took probably less than about six minutes to beat me, <laughs> but uh, I will admit, graphically it looked really good, um, and yeah, definitely a different take on the sort of standard chess game. Uh, so that one goes for £32 at CEX, £45 on eBay, absolutely mental. Um, and yeah, as see, it does have the outer sleeve as well, so yeah, really, really happy to have that one. Next up, we've got uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Uh, See, so yeah, I think we originally got these, uh, originally got this uh, on the uh, Nintendo Wii. Uh, and yeah, it is, the, the Sonic games are actually really good kart racing games. Uh, this one's definitely taken after the later Mario games. Uh, whereas this one, you can transform, I think it's uh, a boat, a jet, and the sort of standard car. Um, so yeah, as I say, I've played this before, really enjoyed this, uh, but didn't have a copy of it on the Xbox 360. Uh, so for that one, it goes for £8 at CEX and £10 on eBay. Then next up, we've got Cabela's Dangerous Hunt 2011. Uh, so I really, really enjoy these sort of games. I've always enjoyed the Cabela games um, because they are essentially a realistic hunting simulator. So, yeah, this one does actually work with the uh, Top Shot Elite uh, gun, uh, but it's not one I have in the collection. I have looked. They're about £50, so, yeah, I might look to get one in the future. Um, once again, not too sure how that works, whether it's a sort of normal light gun uh, that will only work with a CRT. Obviously, Xbox 360, that's when we're going into very much in a sort of flat screen era, so I'll be very surprised if it does work. Uh, only work with a CRT. Um, but yeah, well, 2011, it's definitely not going to be CRT, is it? What am I talking about? <laughs> um, so yeah, as I say, uh, from what I did play of it, really, really good game, um, and definitely one that I'm going to be spending a bit more time on. Uh, that one goes for uh, £3 at CEX, £11 on eBay. Then we've got Castlevania, Lords of the Shadow, or Lords of Shadow. Uh, I've heard quite a few people talk about this, um, and even a couple sort of recently as well. Uh, so yeah, it's I, I played through it. I'll be honest, um, with everything that I've played through for this video, I can't really remember this. Um, but I will say, I think if I can remember rightly, this one was actually okay. Um, I was actually dreading it purely because um, I'm not a big fan of the 3D Castlevanias. Um, I much prefer the original ones, uh, the 2D sort of side-scrolling ones. Um, but yeah, I, I'll be honest, I can't even remember playing this. Um, I have done because I've got the footage for it. But 
yeah, it is just not one that's stuck in my memory, unfortunately. Uh, so that one goes for eight pounds of CEX, nine pounds on eBay. Then one that I can actually remember, and I actually just really enjoyed it, and that is Rise of the Guardians. <clears throat> so this is a licensed game based off the DreamWorks uh, film of the same name. Um, and I have to admit, after playing this, I actually want to go and sit down and watch the film. Um, I've never seen it. Um, it just when it came out, it just didn't capture my interest. Um, but after playing this, I'm actually quite interested now uh, to sit down and watch the film. Uh, so yeah, uh, that one goes for five pounds on both CEX and eBay. Then we've got a, another another game that we've already got in the collection, but a different variant, and that is. Uh, cameo uh, elements of power uh, so yeah i i remember playing this game uh, or if i haven't played it i definitely remember seeing footage of it but i, I think i did play it um, when we got it last time but obviously last time we got the normal version this time it's the classics version so i'm going to keep hold of this um, and basically what it is is you can turn into um, different uh, different sort of animals to achieve different tasks um and yeah it's it's an interesting game <sighs> would it make sort of top my top list definitely not um but yeah still nice one to have in the collection as i say we do already have it in the collection uh so yeah this one will go into storage uh this one goes for 150 a cex 450 on ebay then i'm going to do the next two together so we've got Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy 13 2. Um, yeah, I don't think we've actually got any other copies of this. Um, I think we've got I've got Final Fantasy 10 and Final Fantasy 10 2. Um, but I don't think we've got Final Fantasy 13 on anything. So yeah, that's a, a nice addition. Um, yeah, there were they were good. I, the thing with the Final Fantasy games, visually, I think they look stunning. Um, but I don't really know a lot about the law, uh, so I find it difficult to get into them. Uh, so for those ones, Final Fantasy Thirteen goes for four pounds at CEX, eight pounds on eBay. Uh, no, it doesn't. It goes for two fifty at CEX and five pounds on eBay. And Final Fantasy Thirteen Two goes for full, uh, four pounds at CEX and eight pounds on eBay. Yeah, I will admit, I, I will look to get into the Final Fantasies at one point. I think what I should have tried to do was pick up the uh, Final Fantasy collection. I think it came out on the Switch. Um, but obviously now it is quite expensive. So yeah, I'm not too sure with that. Next up, we've got uh, the First Templar. Uh, so this is a game that's based on the Knights Templar, um, sort of uh, Holy Grail and all of that sort of stuff. Um, I actually thought this was really good. Uh, really enjoyed this probably played this for about 20 minutes uh, played through the whole sort of first section um, and yeah really really interesting game uh, very unique in its approach um, and yeah thoroughly enjoyed it um, yeah I, I <laughs> it's do you know what it has been such a struggle to film this video it's been one that i've just been putting back and putting back just purely because of how many games uh there have been to go through and i will admit it's all starting to sort of blur into one but i am getting the odd game so like this one definitely remember playing this um and yeah it is it's not quite a not quite what i'd say it's isometric it's a bit closer it's a bit more zoomed in than that um but yeah sort of definitely a, an interesting one uh, that one goes for £12 at CEX, £14 on eBay. Then we've got Divinity 2, uh, the Dragon Knight Saga. And once again, this is one that I can't remember. I remember playing it, but I don't remember anything about the story, the gameplay, or anything like that. Um, so I think with this one, I'm going to let the gameplay footage speak for this. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be honest, I don't remember disliking it, um, but equally I don't remember much about it either. Uh, so Divinity 2 goes for £18 at CEX, £30 on eBay. 
Then this next one actually, the, once again, it was another one that a lot of people, when they were sort of seeing what games were in the collection that I got, uh, were quite excited. I know Nikki in particular um, picked this one out of everything. And that is Fist of the North Star, uh, Ken's Rage. Um, and once again, really, really enjoyed this one. Um, definitely one that I am going to be putting back in, playing a bit more of. Because uh, I want to see sort of where, the, where they take the story with this. Um, but yeah, as I say, it was, it was a really interesting one. Uh, if I remember rightly, it was a... Um, basically a, a, a sort of 3D brawler. Um, and yeah... Um, as I say, I didn't get too far into it uh, because I was only playing it quickly just to capture footage for the uh, video, footage for the video. But yeah, definitely one that I'm going to be going back to and sort of seeing what it's like in a bit more detail. Uh, that one goes for £25 at CEX and £30 on eBay. Then next up, we've got an upgrade. So we've got Injustice, Gods Among Us. Uh, currently, we've only got this disc only, uh, so quite glad to now have it. Unfortunately, it is missing the manual, so still not quite at that complete version, but still better than nothing to have it in the case now. Uh, that one goes for £2 at CEX, £4 on eBay. Then we're on to our last two, um, and I've left the best one for last. So this one, we've got Ridge Racer Unbound. Um, and with this, playing this, it just felt like Ridge Racer Need for Speed. It's probably the best way to describe it. It just felt like a slightly different take on a Need for Speed game. Um, it was, yeah, the, your, as you're racing around, you're using your uh, turbo, uh, your sort of like your boost to take out other players, um, open up uh, shortcuts within the track um, and yeah just a, a very different take on sort of racing game but as I say it just very much feels sort of need for speedy um, that one goes for £8 at CEX £10 on eBay and then the last game that we've got in this bundle was by far the best game out of the lot it's a game that i've had on my wish list for absolutely ages now but because it is such an expensive game um, i have just not been able to pick it up um, and originally this was one of the games that i immediately pulled out uh, before and i was literally just going to buy it on its own with I think, uh, one or two other games um, before i said what do you want for the lot and that was omi chombara bikini samurai squad so yeah absolutely over the moon to have this as i say it's been one of the games i've been wanting to add to the collection for ages now um but it has just been well out of my price range so looking this up online it goes for 45 pounds at cex 70 pounds on ebay um and thankfully it is complete so really really chuffed with that and yeah absolutely over the moon to finally have this in the collection as i say it's one i've been wanting to add in uh, but because of the price, it has just been well out of my remit. Uh, so yeah, to pick it up for what we picked it up for um, is absolutely brilliant. So, what did we pay? You probably remember seeing it in the video. But yeah, for all of the Xbox 360 games, uh, we paid £25, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, as, when I was, I was talking to the seller asked her what she wanted for the uh, what would you do for the whole lot she was a bit like oh i don't know so um i literally just chucked out well what about 20 quid um yeah i knew that there was games in there that were worth a lot more um but I sort of test the water threw out 20 quid she then come back with 25 i'm like by all means i couldn't get my money out quick enough um so yeah absolutely over the moon with that some really really good heavy hitters um, in there as well for the collection so looking through um actually the uh, before we go on uh, the total value of all of the xbox 360 games i've actually totaled these up a bit different so we paid 25 pound for the whole bundle um if we were to buy all the games that we could at cex it would have been 376 pounds and 50p and if we got all the games from ebay we'd be looking at 614 pounds and 50p um, and with what the doubles that we have got, we're going to be, be able to trade them in for a £43 and 83p voucher. So, yeah, uh, even if we just take that 40, um, 
but £45, uh, that is going to be a massive chunk um, off of the, the game that we are aiming to pick up. But that is not the last pickup. We've got one more pickup. Um, and yeah, this was probably one of the most stressful pickups that I've ever had at a boot fair. Uh, because I saw it there um, in the box and I was like, I knew what it was. Um, and I knew how rare they were uh, to find. So I, I tried to sort of get the, the seller. I think this, the seller originally wanted, he wanted like 70 or 80 pounds for them. Um, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> And it is a set of the Super Mario Brothers 3 uh, walkie talkies. Uh, so, yeah, I have seen other collectors with these. I think mean, they're absolutely stunning. It's not something I ever thought I'd add into the collection uh, because I think at one point, um, sort of during uh, sort of the lockdowns and everything like that, these were going for about £300. Um, but I will admit the price has completely dropped out of them. Um, so, I'm going to just stick them down for a minute. Uh, yeah, the, the price has completely dropped out of them. So I was looking them up online. As I say, the seller wanted £70 when I first looked. Um, and then looking them up online, you were seeing ones that were in the box, had a lot better condition box, um, and they were selling for about £70. So I just really did not... I, I, I was desperate to have them, but did not want to pay the full £70 for them because I just thought that he was asking too much for the condition. Uh, so, yeah, I, I tried to sort of barter him down, couldn't get him down at all. Um, I, I, I don't think he went down uh, before I then walked off. And I, I walked to the end of the aisle and I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm not going back, I'm not going back. And then in the end, I was like, no, I've got to have them. I've got to have them in the collection. So, yeah, went back. Um, I, I'm not too sure how much of the um, how much of it I put in the video, but it's probably there for about 10 minutes, uh, trying to sort of barter him down. Uh, I was pulling up eBay listings. I was showing him sort of what they were going for on eBay in sort of good condition, uh, and then eventually I come across a listing that was going for about 35 pounds. Uh, so yeah, I said to him, oh, "There's a listing there." Um, that's in really good condition. This one, the, they need the battery terminals replaced, which thankfully I've ordered some, so I'm going to be replacing those. Um, so it needs battery terminals replaced. The box is obviously in the condition it's in. Um, so yeah, eventually agreed on 35. Um, and yeah, I ended up picking them up. So looking them up online, they do go for about £75 on eBay. Uh, but yeah, for me, actually having them in the collection is just absolutely brilliant so chuffed to have them and yeah was absolutely amazed to find them at the boot fair uh really couldn't believe it so yeah absolutely i would say it was not something i ever intended adding to the collection because as i say when i've looked at them in the past they've been sort of two three hundred pounds um but as i say the, the price has just dropped out of them completely um, so yeah, really, really glad to get them for what we did. Uh, obviously, we have got some repair work to do. Um, and then the box is what the box is. I I'm not massively worried about that. Um, just having them in the collection is good enough for me. So that is going to wrap up the video. I will say the video has probably gone on a lot longer than I normally like to. It's probably, uh, we've definitely tipped over into the hour mark. Uh, so let's quickly wrap up and run through the totals. So our total spend today was £104.50p. If we bought everything we could from CEX, um, it would have been £429.50p. And to get everything off eBay would have been £726.50p. So yeah, that is absolutely massive saving. Um, in addition to that, we've also got £51 worth of... Uh, sorry, £51.43p in CEX vouchers as well. Uh, so even if we just take that £51... Um, and we'll put that towards um, our total uh, total voucher. So at the moment, I haven't done any trading in yet. I'm going to actually hopefully look at them over the weekend um, and take the first load into CEX this weekend. So yeah, hopefully I'll know sooner rather than later uh, when we can go out and grab this game that we're after. 
But with that said, I am going to wrap the video up there. But before you head off, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.